Hey guys, it's uh, it's Monday, Bank Holiday Monday here. I'm in the office, not too many people in today. And uh, today I want to talk to you about being an entrepreneur and about loneliness. And that might be an odd thing to say, but I do believe that being an entrepreneur can be quite lonely a lot of the time. And one of the reasons I think that is that we kind of have to show that we know what we're doing all the time and we don't always know what we're doing all the time. So who can we say to that we that we that we don't know like where can we go and say that we don't know if you say to your spouse they they get anxious and they wonder how's the mortgage going to be paid if you say to the bank manager he pulls your overdraft um, you can't talk about it with your team uh, at least not often and um, so so for me i feel like i need a place at least where i can go and say to people you know what i don't know what's going on here i don't know how to solve this problem or i don't know what i'm doing i've gone down this route and i'm not sure it's the right thing to do so uh how we like i've i've solved that over the years in, in, in different ways. I've spent many years in a group called the 3 to 5 Club, which I really enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys about that again. Today I want to talk to you about a current group I'm in called the Power 7. And the Power 7 group is uh, seven business owners, uh, so myself and six other um, business owners from, from around the country. And uh, we get together every two months with a facilitator whose name is Barry Walsh. He's the brainchild behind the Power 7 groups. And uh, we look at um, what's affecting our business. And, and we look at it from a very holistic point of view because our business, like if, if, if there's something wrong with me, if I'm not right, um, if, if, if I'm having you know, issues with, if I'm not getting my exercise, for example, or I'm not getting through my daily routine or whatever it is, that's going to affect my business. If there's issues in my family, that's going to affect my business. And if there's issues in my business, that's going to affect my business too. So we look at all those areas in this. Uh, so we do, um, we go through a process the night before the meeting where we look at uh, each of those three areas. So I look at myself and my life over the last two months. I look at my family, what's been happening in my family in the last two months and what's been happening in my business over the last two months. And we have a meeting update sheet. Uh, I have one here and I'll, I'll show you guys, uh, I'll show you guys uh, go in detail in, in a minute. And we update that sheet. We bring it to the meeting and uh, we go around the table and we all give our updates very briefly. We have, I think we have seven minutes or something like that to do, to do those updates. Um, so once we've that done, at the very bottom of that sheet then, um, we'll have determined a question that we want to bring to the group. And, uh, and that question will be, you know, the main issue that we're having in one of those three areas that we want to discuss with this uh, with our Power 7 group. Now, there's extreme confidentiality in here. This is a group, it doesn't change. We don't have people coming in to see how it works or anything like that. It's just it's just seven guys sitting around the table, same guys every every time. Uh, we have signed con confidentiality agreements. We never discuss what's happening in the group with anybody, our spouse or anybody else. So that allows us to uh, be very open, uh, very sharing, uh, because we know we've got that trust in the group. So here's the sheet and I just want to, I'm just going to hold it up to the screen and hopefully this will kind of work enough for you to see, but I'm going to talk through it anyway. So if you'll see across the top, um, we've got this, um, the three areas, me, uh, my family and myself, and we will grade each of those out of, out of 10. And uh, we'll have then as you go further down, you can see those areas across the top. So it's like, what has drained my energy in the last, um, the last two months since the last meeting, um, what uh, what has given me energy? You know, what are the best things that have happened in in each of those areas? Then, um, what am I most looking forward to over the next two months? And what am I most anxious about over the next two months as well? So that's the sheet there. Okay, so you'll see uh, all those areas on the sheet. Okay, and then at the bottom you'll see we have our update from the last meeting, and we'll also have our area to put in our question and what we'll do is we'll take that question and it gets written up on the board and then um, we'll, we'll look at those questions and we'll rank them then and see you know whose is most urgent and um, sometimes there might be one question that's so urgent that nothing else happens for the day and we all work on that but generally we're, we, we all get a chance to to get through our kind of blockage or bottleneck or whatever it is and we get to discuss it and we get you know six different um, opinions, seven different opinions around the table. And uh, I find that really, really helpful place for me to go and kind of unload the stuff that I've nowhere else to, to unload. Now, having said that, I do have other places. I'm very lucky that I do have other places uh, where I can, I can go for help as well. So I've got my, my coach 
um, we talk every day. Um, and I've got here in my office, uh, I work in a really interesting office, uh, co-working space with some really interesting companies. Um, and I've got some, some people that I trust there too, and I, I can speak to them. Uh, and also, you know, friends and family as well. Um, but um, but just uh, this was just I felt like this was an important thing that I, I wanted to talk to you guys about because you know I think we need to acknowledge that this happens to us or to some of us at least and uh, and I think we need to do something about it. Thanks guys. Bye.